the leadership in the Iowa legislature and the governor are very driven by the flavor of the month in the right wing, whatever you want to call it, the right, whatever the right wing noise machine is pumping up. And so um, if it's transgender sports ban, suddenly that, that becomes yep. an important issue. I mean, we had legislators introduce transgender sports ban bills for years that didn't ever get out of a subcommittee, and then all of a sudden, last year, our governor was on Fox News, and one of the other Republican governors on there bragged about passing a transgender sports ban, and then our governor, Kim Reynolds, said, oh, yeah, you know, I want one of those. I want a bill like that also. So she had never pushed for that before. All of a sudden, it became a high priority, and and she was able to sign one into law, a discriminatory bill, this March. So they do, I I do think that there's a reaction. There's, like, a lot of the, uh, some People call it a moral panic, um, the, the othering of LGBTQ and particularly transgender. That is something that drives a lot of action. But you're right. It, it's very reactive, and it's very – I think that if, if there is a philosophy – and I don't know that this is a governing philosophy that Republicans would claim for themselves, but I think that what animates a lot of what they do is, is a sense that the Iowa is a state that is governed by straight white conservative Christians for straight white conservative Christians. 